Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I have a, I have an empties video to share with you all today. I am splitting this in two. Um, just because I didn't do like a summer empties or a fall empties, to be honest, I think we are still in, in fall technically. Um, so I did want to share kind of everything I have emptied. Um, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, uh, be sure to subscribe and be sure to hit that notification bell so that you do not miss any future uploads. So let us begin. You want to start with the Best Jelly Cleanser by Drunk Elephant. Now this is very grimy and disgusting. Uh, this is one of my very favorite cleansers of all time. Um, I feel like I have a backup because I feel like they did send a full size in the trunk 2.0 or 6.0, I think. We are in the sixth year of the trunk. Um, so I do have a backup of this. I would recommend this to anyone with like normal combo skin. Perhaps if you have oily skin, this may be too gentle for you. I have heard of some people experiencing a dryness with this cleanser. I am not one of those people. I love using this after a workout out and as a second cleanser as part of my nighttime skincare routine. Uh, right now I am working through the six golden botanical cleanser and once I'm through that I will go ahead and hop back on the best uh, number nine jelly cleanser that I have in my collection. Another cleanser that I just kind of used up I want to say during like spring summer was the peach and lily power comb hydrating gel cleanser this looks like this I feel like this would work best on normal combo oily skin um, even though this did a really good job at cleansing removing dirt grime debris um, I felt like it gave me that clean skin feeling without that squeaky clean feel or that excessively dry clean feel that I think would work really nicely on oily skin. Um, sometimes with oily skin I feel like we have to go in with calming cleansers instead of like salicylic acid based cleansers. Um, so I think that would work best on normal combo oily skin. Both of these lather really nicely. Sometimes I would have a tough time making this lather, but for the most part, I feel like it uh, lathered up really nicely for me. Another toner that I emptied here is the Murad Hydrating Toner. Now this is a staple in my collection, something I must have, and I have been using this for decades. Um, currently, I am working through the Elemis Superfood Kefir Tea Priming and Hydrating Facial Mist. Um, I've really been enjoying this by Elemis, um, so I would highly recommend this. Um, if you love kind of like a botanical type, kind of grounding type uh, herbal type scent, on a toner. This is hydrating enough even in the like fall dry uh, cooler months. Um, as far as this however the Murad hydrating toner this has kind of like a peach floral no more of a peach scent and I just absolutely love misting this all over the face as after cleansing. I have used this again for years and years in dry climates, humid climates and it is just worked so beautifully for me throughout the years. Um, in my 20s, 30s, I am in my late 30s and this still works for me. Um, I do also have a Colleen Rothschild toner and I do have a Coco Kind toner so I am not purchasing a new one until I feel like I have worked through those. Um, just to, you know, minimize waste. In 2023, I, I hope to not have too many open units of like the same thing. Um, otherwise, I will just kind of not go back to something and then it just expires. For the sake of minimizing my waste, I will wait to 
purchase this, but I will definitely purchase this again. I test a number of serums here on my channel. So there's a lot to say about a serum if I actually empty it. Um, so I have emptied the Drunk Elephant Shaba Complex Eye Serum. I currently have a unit of this that I am working through, and this is one of my favorite anti-aging eye serums. I feel like she's a little on the pricey side. Um, however, if you are looking for more of a retinol-based eye serum, the Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Serum works amazingly and it's one of my top five I would say. So I'm currently, I currently have two. This one is the newest one that I am working through and I absolutely love it. This works very well for me. I do have normal skin and this works very well for me morning and evening. Um, this has been a staple in my skincare routine. The Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow AHA Resurfacing Night Serum. Um, I reviewed this a long, long time time ago and back then it wasn't a hit um, until I realized that this works incredibly well on my skin before before I start my cycle when I do you know experience the occasional hormonal breakout here along my jaw and chin. Um, this works incredibly well and I will continue to use this. Um, I do have an affiliate code with Pharmacy. It is Nadia20, and it will save you 20% off your entire purchase at PharmacyBeauty.com. So if you're looking for more of a clarifying, um, exfoliating, resurfacing serum, look no further. This Will work. Another product that I was very surprised to empty was the Jamarini Age Intervention Retinol Plus. Um, love retinol. I use tretinoin as well. And this was more of like an age diffusing product on my normal skin. I feel like usually I would use one to two pumps on my face. Um, and this didn't like dry or cause my skin any irritation or full Leaking. If you are over um, like Sephora, drugstore, or products that you can find at Ulta, um, Jamarini, I feel like, is a very results-driven skincare range. So if you aren't seeing results from anything that you can find at Sephora, Ulta, the drugstore, uh, check this out. I feel like it's still, you know, may retail for $85. No, this may retail for $105 or $115. Um, but if you are looking for more of a medical kind of clinical grade skincare, the Jan Marini range is one that you shouldn't miss. I'm sorry if you can hear the noise outside. Someone's having like the best time of their life with the motorcycle. Um, I think I have another unit that I am currently using, their Luminate Face Lotion, which also contains retinol, but it also pairs it with alpha arbutin. So they kind of do the same thing, whereas this is more of an age diffusing lotion. The Illuminate face lotion is more of a something that will promote more of an even tone. So I feel like those are kind of like similar in a way. Um, but I emptied this and will hopefully empty that very, very soon. Um, and I would recommend would repurchase. Um, the Paula's Choice C15 Super Booster um, emptied this. This is one of my favorite vitamin C serums. I feel like for it being an L-ascorbic acid based serum, it oxidizes a lot slower than any of my other vitamin C products. I like it, would use again. I feel like this would work on all skin types and the price range. I feel like it's just right. Um, highly, highly recommend this. This one came to me as a surprise when I emptied it because I was like, whoa, I feel like I just opened you. But the Glow the glow Recipe Guava Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. This is one thing that I have just recently reviewed here on my channel, so I will link that review up above in case you missed it. I have enjoyed this. I will say that this 
lightened up more my post-inflammation hyperpigmentation than my sun damage. So I would recommend this to anyone just kind of starting their skincare journey, looking to brighten post-inflammation hyperpigmentation. This is just a very good beginner-friendly vitamin C dark spot serum. I like it. Um, I think I it has a very light guava ish Ish scent and I don't think it is fragranced um, would I use this again probably um, unless I have any other vitamin C serums uh, that I would like to work through um, I would use this personally I would actually use the drunk elephant C from a fresh before I would use a unit of this um, just because I love drunk elephant However, that one is sticky. Sticky products are a deal breaker for you. Skip that and get yourself one of these. Eye cream, the Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Hydrating Eye Gel. This works beautifully for me day or night. I feel like I could load this up at night with no irritation. Obviously during daytime, I wouldn't load up on eye cream just because I'm wearing makeup like 80% of the time, but I like this. This is non-irritating fragrance, alcohol-free, perfect for, I would say, all skin types. The gel formula, if you are prone to milia, is excellent because it's not going to cause you to kind of break out here along this area or cause you any milia. Highly recommend the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench range for my sensitive, dry, dehydrated skin types. This did not come as a surprise as an empty. Um, this, surprisingly, I feel like maybe one of my favorite products of 2020. I do have a backup that Ula Enriksen recently sent over, but this is their Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. This worked so nicely under makeup and I loved applying this on the neck and decollete at night. I just felt like my neck and decollete area was like kind of firmer, plumper, healthier looking when I would use this along those areas. Um, I feel like I would recommend this to anyone. I mean, we are essentially, we are all evaporating, we're all aging. Um, so this contains vegan peptides, ceramides, and collagen. Perfect for aging skin. I like the price point of this as well. My favorite product of the year, the Pharmacy 10% Niacinamide Mask. Hands down, my favorite product of the year, I want to say. Um, love using this. This was like my best friend when I was, you know, testing anything. I would just apply this over top to see if it would make it work better or worse. 100% of the time, this would make everything just look better. And I feel like it's just this product alone. One of my absolute favorites. It has such a like a velvety type of finish. It's not heavy at all. It's not sticky. You don't, you may want to apply a mask like layer of this before bed, but I would apply a moisturizer uh, a sized amount uh, to the skin at night before bed as the final step in my routine and I am aging. My pores along the forehead are a huge concern to me and this was a dream to apply on my forehead. I would just wake up with smoother skin along the forehead and kind of everywhere else and my pores just looked so minimized. Again, I have normal skin, perhaps oily skin, which tends to have more pronounced pores. You may have to use this over a longer period of time to kind of see results, but on my normal skin, this did a beautiful, beautiful job at uh, refining the appearance of my pores, and that's why it's my top top favorite product of 2022. I will also link my review to that up above in case you are interested. Finally, I will chat about the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream by Sol de Janeiro. 
I finally emptied this and I do want to say that I am just over this smell. I feel like everybody enjoys this smell at least at one point in their life. Maybe not everybody, but I, I was obsessed with this scent for so, so long and now I am I'm over it. I think we're good. I will not be repurchasing this even though this had a lovely kind of nourishing moisturizing effect over the skin. Did this help to visibly tighten the appearance of skin? No. Was it fast absorbing? Absolutely. Um, and I loved the smell at one point in my life but for now I am saying goodbye. To you. That is all I have for this portion of the empties videos. I have a second one so the second video will be coming to you in a few days um, but do let me know what you emptied in 2022 in the comments down below. Um, what would you repurchase and what is your skin type? I would love to know and I'm sure the community here will find that very helpful. So I will see you in my next video. Bye. I have an empties favorites uh, uh, 